Nowadays, artificial intelligence has become a prominent force, showcasing its remarkable performance across a range of domains. AI is the game-changing tool that can automate mundane tasks, boost your productivity and save you lots of time. So, are you ready to take your Excel skills to the next level? Join us as we explore the power of AI to unlock new possibilities. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA-related problems. I am Ishraq Kader and in today's video, we'll be discussing how to supercharge your Excel skills with ChatGPT. So, let's get started. In this video, I'll show you eight applications of ChatGPT to solve Excel problems. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Now you may be wondering what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is an AI language model developed by OpenAI. If you are a beginner in Excel, ChatGPT can guide you through Excel's features and formulas. In case you are already familiar with Excel, then ChatGPT can get your work done in no time. So get ready to be amazed. To access ChatGPT, you can click the link in the description below or you can simply Google for ChatGPT. Here you'll have to set up an account afterward you'll land on the following page. Here I'll click the Try ChatGPT button. This opens the main interface of ChatGPT in a new tab. You can type your questions down below and click the Go button. ChatGPT will come up with an answer. It's that simple. Back in Excel, let's go to the dataset worksheet and consider the sales data of Exotic Fruits Company, which contains the item names unit price, and quantity columns. We'll start off with simple examples and then gradually move to advanced Excel calculations with the help of ChatGPT. Suppose I want to calculate the revenue, but I'm not sure about the formula. So let's ask ChatGPT to help us out. I'll copy the prompt from Excel and head back to ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, I'll paste my prompt in the text box and click the Go button. ChatGPT is telling me that I should multiply the values in the C5 and D5 cells in order to get the revenue. So let me copy the expression from here and head back to my Excel spreadsheet. Back in Excel, I'll paste the formula that I copied in the E5 cell and press enter. Now let me use the fill handle tool to copy the formula down. And that's it, we've calculated all our revenues. Next, I'll ask ChatGPT to calculate the total revenue for us. I'll copy the prompt from Excel and head back to ChatGPT. Again, I'll paste the prompt down below and click the send button. ChatGPT is suggesting that I should use the sum function to calculate the total revenue. It's also included a brief description of how the sum function works. So I'll copy the code from here and head back to my spreadsheet. Back in Excel, I'll go to the D15 cell and paste the formula in the formula bar and press enter. Great, that's just what I needed. Back in Excel, I want to count the number of unique names in the items column. Let's see if ChatGPT can figure this out. Again, I'll copy the prompt from Excel and go back to the website. Back in ChatGPT, I'll paste my prompt and click the send button. ChatGPT is suggesting that I could combine the sum and countif functions to get the count of unique values. It's also included a short description of how the two functions are working. For now, I'll copy the prompt, head back to Excel. Back in Excel, I'll paste the formula that I just copied in the C15 cell and hit enter. Amazing, there are seven unique names in the items column. For our next example, we want to look up the unit price of an item. For instance, I want to look up the unit price for avocados. So I'll copy the query from Excel and head back to ChatGPT. I'll paste the query down below and click the Go button.
ChatGPT is telling me that I should use the VLOOKUP function. It's also included how the formula works. For now, I'll copy the formula and go back to Excel. Back in Excel, I'll paste the formula in the C16 cell. We can see that ChatGPT has made some mistakes, so let me clear it up. I'll select this range, press the delete button, and select the table array again. Since my table array starts from B4 to D13, now I'll hit enter. Wow, the formula looked up the correct unit price for avocados. So far, we've seen some simple examples. Let's find out if the AI can handle more complex scenarios. In this example, we'll ask ChatGPT to extract the domain names from this list of emails. So I'll copy the query and go back to ChatGPT. In ChatGPT, I'll paste the query in the text box and click the send button. ChatGPT is suggesting that I should combine the mid find len functions together in order to extract the domain names. It's also included a detailed section of how the formula is actually working. For now, I'll copy this formula and go back to my spreadsheet. Back in Excel, I'll go to the C5 cell and paste my formula in the formula bar. Press enter. Now I'll copy the formula into the cells below. Phenomenal, we've extracted the domain names. Counting words has always been a challenge in Excel. In this scenario, we want to count the words from C5 to C13 range, excluding any blank cells. Let's see if ChatGPT fares any better. I'll copy the prompt from Excel and go back to ChatGPT. Next, I'll paste the query and click the send button. ChatGPT has come up with this really complicated formula using some product length trim substitute functions. It's also given me a detailed explanation down below. For now, I'll just copy this formula and go back to my spreadsheet. In Excel, I'll go to the C15 cell and paste this formula. Let's see if this formula actually works. Nice, it successfully counted the words in the C5 to C13 range. Now, let's ask the AI if it can help us with some nested if functions. For instance, we want to calculate the commission based on the sales figure. So I'll copy the prompt and go back to ChatGPT. As shown previously, I'll paste the prompt in the text box and click Go. ChatGPT comes up with this multiple if functions nested into one another. However, it's not exactly what we are looking for, but it's close. So I'll copy the formula and go back to my spreadsheet. Back in Excel, I'll go to the D5 cell and paste the formula we've copied. Here, I have already made some corrections to the formula that was provided by ChatGPT. Now, I'll hit Enter and drag the formula into the cells below. Occasionally, ChatGPT can make mistakes. That's why it's important to have a basic understanding of Excel. Data validation and conditional formatting are two great features of Excel. Let's see if ChatGPT can make our lives any easier. First, let's ask ChatGPT to make a drop-down list using the items column. So I'll copy the prompt from Excel and go back to the website. Here, down below, I'll paste my query and click the send button. ChatGPT is showing me a list of instructions. It's telling me that I should select the C15 cell then go to the Data tab and click on Data Validation. From the Allow drop-down, I should select the List option and in the Source field, I should enter the B5 to B13 range. Now, let's go back to Excel and apply these steps. Back in Excel, I'll select the C15 cell, then click the Data tab. In Data Tools group, I'll click Data Validation. This opens the Data Validation dialog box. In the Allow field, I'll click on the List option for the source, I'll select the B5 to B13 range. Now click on OK. 
Click this drop down arrow and we can see that all our items are now listed in this drop down and we can select any item we want. Second, I'll ask ChatGPT to highlight the row that matches the selected value in the drop down. In our case, I have selected orange. Now I'll copy the prompt and head back to ChatGPT. Down below, I'll paste my query and click the send button. ChatGPT is giving me a list of instructions that I should follow. It's telling me to select the B5 to D13 range, which is our dataset. Then in the Home tab, I'll have to click Conditional Formatting. In the drop-down, I'll find the New Rule option. Then I have to use this formula to determine which cells I want to format. After that, I'll have to click the Format button to choose a fill color according to my preference. And lastly, click on OK to apply the formatting. Now, let's apply these steps back in Excel. Before that, I'll copy the formula and jump to Excel. Back in Excel, I'll select from B5 to D13 range, click the Home tab. In the Styles group, click Conditional Formatting drop-down, then go to New Rule. This opens the New Formatting Rule dialog box. Here, I'll select this option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. I can paste my formula that I copied, then click the Format button and choose a fill color. Here, I'll choose a light shade of orange but you can choose any color according to your liking. Click on OK. Again, click on OK. And we can see that conditional formatting has been applied. Let me select a different item. Let's say I'll choose lemons. And we can see that lemons have been highlighted. Second, we'll ask ChatGPT to highlight the rows that match the selected value in the dropdown. In this case, I'll select lemons. Now, I'll copy the prompt and go back to ChatGPT. Here, I'll paste the prompt and click the Go button. ChatGPT is suggesting that I should use Excel's conditional formatting feature and it's also included this formula. However, the formula is not going to work properly. Still, let me copy the formula and go back to Excel. Back in Excel, I'll select from B5 to D13 range, click the Home tab. In the Style section, I'll click Conditional Formatting drop-down. I'll go to New Rule. In the drop-down, I'll select Use Formula to determine which cells to format. Here, I'll have to paste the formula. In order for the highlighting to work properly, I had to modify the formula that ChatGPT gave me, and this is the correct formula. Next, I'll go to Format. In the Fill section, I'll choose a color. Now, you can choose any color according to your preference. For instance, I'll select this light shade of orange and click OK. Again, I'll click OK. We can see that the cells containing lemons have been highlighted. If we change the value in the drop-down, the highlighting also changes automatically. Last but not least, I'll ask ChatGPT if it can calculate the total sales for these sales representatives. To do this, I'll copy the prompt from Excel and go back to the website. Back in ChatGPT, I'll paste my query in the text box and click the Send button. ChatGPT is suggesting a couple of steps. It's telling me that I can use the unique function to get a list of all the sales representative's name. However, I don't really want that. But the second step is more interesting. It's telling me that I should use the SUMIFS function. So let me copy the code and go back to Excel. Back in Excel, Let's give this code a try. I'll paste it in the C18 cell. Here we can see that it needs a bit of editing. Instead of D13, I'll type D15. And I'll change F5 to B18 cell. Press Enter. And drag the Fill Handle tool. We finally calculated the total sales associated with each sales representative. In this demonstration, I have shown you 8 examples of using ChatGPT to master Excel. I highly encourage you to give it a try and see the results for yourself. Follow these tips and tricks to get yourself up and running on your adventure with ChatGPT. If you intend to perform a specific calculation, then you should provide context to ChatGPT about your dataset and ask for a specific function. As we've seen, ChatGPT provides a detailed explanation of how the formula works. It is better to ask for examples and use cases that are relevant to your work. That way, you will develop problem-solving skills and gain valuable insights. 
Remember, ChatGPT will give you different answers each time. In case it gives you something erroneous, copy the error message and ask for the correct result. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!